guys, it's Megan or Mad Little Crafter here and today I'm trying something new. It was inspired by Hannah or The Corner of Craft, which if you have not checked out her channel, which I'm sure most of you have, go check it out right now. Um, she does these things called crafty chats and I like talking. <laughs> if anybody who knows me in person knows that I enjoy talking very much. And um, so I've decided to cleverly name these Mad Little Chatter because why not? Um, and it's the closest and least, um, I was going to say least cool, uh, slightly cool thing I can name it. But uh, today I am here because uh, I am Ian Malcolm and uh, Chaos Theory. No, <laughs> today I am here just to try something new, I guess. And plus I really liked my makeup and I wanted to film and I've, my next video plan is a tutorial and you don't really get to see my face in it. And I wanted to film with a blue lipstick today for some reason. So today you are getting me here for about 10 minutes. That's what I'm going to try to limit it to just talking while I'm working on something. This is a uh, personal project. I'm working on a fridge. Um, <laughs> it's supposed to be small. That's the thing. It's from this lovely book called uh, Icebox Crochet. And you're supposed to use fine weight yarn and a 2.25 millimeter crochet hook. But me and my little self am using worsted weighted yarn and a 3.75 millimeter crochet hook. And I've finished the first part of it. It's actually that massive blue thing in that box right there. Um, that's the outside of it. It is ginormous. Um, this is the inside of it. I'm on row 56 out of 86. And then I get to go around and around and around and turn it into a refrigerator. So, I don't know why I'm doing this. I really don't. I just bought the book for the cute food patterns and I had a sudden desire to make a ginormous refrigerator. That's Amigurumi that you can open the doors and pull out drawers inside of it and all that stuff. So, that's what I'm doing. So, if you see me constantly looking down a little bit, that's because I'm trying to make sure that I'm not accidentally increasing or anything like that. But yes, so little little slightly disappointed today. I was supposed I ordered some shirts off of Redbubble and for those of you who are not following my Twitter, um <laughs> I've been a little obsessed with Overwatch lately, which I um I did not really consider myself a gamer before. I mean, I played a little bit of games and to be honest, um, the gaming field is quite competitive and I go to an art school too and um, as soon as you're like, I like games and you're a female, <laughs> Justice reigns from above. I like Overwatch, can you tell? Um, but back to what I was saying, as soon as you like games and you are a female, uh, a lot of people get instantly judgy and yeah, Megan gets into slightly heavy stuff immediately, don't I? So, um, I never really labeled myself as a gamer, but I guess I, I am because I really enjoy it. I mainly did PC gaming and Left 4 Dead a lot, um, a while ago, like a couple of years ago, but, um, now I'm playing Assassin's Creed. I've been doing Minecraft, not as much anymore, but I used to do Minecraft. And, um, now I'm playing Overwatch and I love it. I love anything got really aggressive there. I love anything character based. Um, I'm just like, I am into character design. I love character design. I love knowing what makes characters tick. I love different backstories that are all intense and like, well, not intense. Well, you, you know what I mean? I love that stuff. That is what I want to do. I want to create characters. And the fact that Overwatch is just this mesh of amazing characters that are all diverse. They're all from different places. They all have different accents. They all have different stories and they're all very pleasing to look at. <laughs> Most of them. But, um, like it's just, it's such a fun game that is just such character based. And I am going to go off on this for like three hours, but 
I have been playing a lot of Overwatch lately, and um, yeah, follow my Twitter for that excitement. But the tutorial I've been filming is actually a Widowmaker bag. I made a um, over-the-shoulder small bag for VidCon that was uh, Tracer, because she is my fave. Justice but rains from above. <laughs> Oops, sorry. I'm like, I need to keep my phone volume on or else I don't know when things happen because <laughs> I get absorbed in what else I'm doing. But back to what I was saying before about why I was disappointed is I ordered some shirts off of Redbubble um, because the place I work at now, you can wear red shirts. Hint, hint, wink, wink. And so I actually got a red shirt that has Pharaoh on it that says Justice Reigns from above because why not? And then I got a Tracer shirt that says Slipstream, and the one I really wanted to wear today with like pigtails and all that stuff was I got a shirt that says, It's high noon, my dudes, and I'm just like, oh my gosh, McCree is so stupid and I love him, but I love everybody, let's be real, but yeah. I really wanted to wear that because my friend is coming over, um, Adri's coming over later today and we are going to be playing some more Overwatch and I really wanted to wear that but alas it said it was supposed to be here on the 16th, today is the 17th and it has not arrived and the tracking number still says in transit. I'm like alright, you go UPS, but whatever, it will come eventually and then I can wear it somewhere and see how many people recognize it. I like I like wearing shirts that like people can recognize because it is so fun when you're just out in public and someone sees it and they like call it out and you're like, yeah, we like the same stuff. It's a great conversation starter. And as um, has been made evident before, I enjoy talking to people very much. I gotta keep an eye on the time because I'm gonna probably go over my 10 minute limit very easily. Um, but yes, I have also been playing a lot of Pokemon Go that has uh, brought on some very funny moments at class because my school is a gym and it is very, we are very competitive. Uh, we went on break for my Tuesday morning class, my poor teacher. I love him, he's so fun, but um, <laughs> we went on break and like four of us ran outside to get to the other side of the campus to get to the gym. and. I spent like, I'm team mystic, so I spent like five minutes taking down that gym and I took it down and then all my Pokemon had fainted so I was trying really quickly to revive my um, highest CP Pokemon which oh, was my Arbok at the time I believe and so I was trying really quickly to revive him and then the app crashed and then <laughs> I was trying to do it and then my friend Shane from across me is like, oh, what do you do if you click on the gym and it's uh, gray? And I was just like, uh, nothing happens. Like, you know, don't touch my gym because he's Team Valor. And by the time I got my app up and running again, Shane had took my gym and he put his prime ape right there and I was like, are you kidding me? So I had to battle Shane's prime ape and then I took him down and then I finally got my gym. Yes. And then... We went, I went back into class because I needed to actually, you know, eat food or something on my break. So I went back into class and I sat down and like three minutes later, Shane took the gym again. I was like, seriously? So we were like battling back and forth for this gym and it was the funniest thing. It was so fun. But everybody has been having so much fun with that game. I went to the duck pond and uh, I actually met some people on Team Mystic. When we were walking, me and Josiah were walking around the duck pond at 12 a.m. But I uh, met some people on Team Mystic, and one of them actually knits and sells stuff on Etsy. Um, she's called the Knit Peddler, I believe. I have her business card. I'll actually drop the link down below because she sells really cute stuff. And how has almost 10 minutes gone by already? I started recording when I had 25 minutes, and now it says I have 17 minutes. But, wow, I talk a lot. <laughs> Yes! So that's been really fun. I have math class tomorrow, which is not very exciting. I am not good at math. I do not enjoy math very much at all. I am horrible at it, but you gotta do it. At least I tested out of four of the ten modules, so I only have to do six weeks of class out of eleven, so that's actually really nice. So just I just have to do six 
modules and then the final and I will be out of that class and that will be over for good. But yes, I am working on my new upload schedule. It's probably going to be once a week. I am not sure on the days yet. I have been very honestly been very very stressed. I'm working a new job now on top of trying to prep for two conventions in a row that are like one right after the other and um, crochet prep takes a long time especially if I'm making stuff on a mass quantity. It takes a very long time especially um, chibis and stuff which is what I want to have a lot more of because people seem to really enjoy having characters there and character plushies and like I said before, spent 10 minutes talking about it, I am a very character driven and character um, interested person. So that is something I definitely want to have a lot of, but I've been doing that and working 8 hour days and when I'm not working 8 hour days I am at school all day because it's a hour and a half commute without traffic to my school and then every class is 4 hours and then it's usually like a 2 hour trip back because traffic is intense and usually I am carpooling with my dad which means being up at 5 and leaving by 5.30, 5.45 and then I don't get home till like 9 at night because we do other stuff like go to Disneyland and stuff because it's right there and it's a nice stress reliever to be able to like have fun <laughs> and relax for about a couple hours, eat dinner, you know, and spend time with my dad. I love spending time with my family. So, yes, on that happy note, um, I have actually made a couple of progress. I am on finishing up row 58 out of 86 now on my refrigerator, so this might be something I am consistently working on during this new segment. But I hope you all enjoyed the first installment of Mad Little Chatter, because why not? And again, thank you, Hannah, for the inspiration. And thank you all of you who watched this for listening to my ramblings for probably 11 or 15 minutes now. I can't even remember anymore. But I hope all of you have a good day. Enjoy yourselves. Go outside. Catch some Pokemon. You know, all that stuff. Tell somebody you love them. Compliment somebody because that's always fun. When someone walks by and they're like, hey, I love your hair. That's always great. So that's my mission for you guys today compliment somebody. If you see something you like, compliment them. Just say, I love your lip color, or I love your hair, or I love your shirt, man. Just do it. It goes a long way for everybody else. So you all have a great day, and I'll see all you guys next time. Bye!